Oh, I just have about 15 minutes left. Yeah. Hmm. But I'd seen a photograph of that Air Force's uh, laser that they make those bunkers out of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought for sure Homeland Security got themselves one of those. Yeah. <laughs> now, this uh, civil rights evaluation tool, the process to review the data from DHS recipients yeah. of federal uh, financial assistance. Yeah. And then to evaluate your compliance, that would be the police department's Wim Washington. Yes. Yeah. That would be the police department, Port Angeles, Washington. Yep. Yeah. That would be the police department, Port Townsend. Mm -hmm. See, any time you allow as evidence, yes, mm -hmm. uh, what violates the FFCA, poo, um, because you don't want the forgery to be on there. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't want there to be a signature of the petitioner. Yes. Because somebody says that these court orders, it doesn't matter. Mm hmm I'm one of these that will sue every recipient, yes, in every county of the United States. <laughs> now, there was an obligation on the part of Homeland Security to do an evaluation, yes, of any of the recipients' compliance with federal civil rights law, yes. And I can sue Homeland Security for hundreds of billions of dollars. <laughs> now, I know it's top secret there, Goldfein, <laughs> or is that Schwartz? Or shall I call you Skeletor? Ouch. And then there's the Welch. Don't Welch on me. I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. And then there's that Hayes. Uh-oh. <laughs> For all the generals of the United States Air Force mm -hmm, that happen to know about a little blueprint of how to make a laser that melts dirt. Yeah. <laughs> so you could have that NORAD. Mm -hmm. Did anyone other than Homeland Security get a copy of the blueprints on how to make that? <clears throat> Mm -mm. See, a lot of cities and counties, they employ what's known as a, a kind of a drill rig. Yes. Um, where it's a big spinning disc. They have one of those over in Seattle. They're, uh, they're putting in an, uh, a, a duct or something. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of this technology is not to be used by those that are billionaires. Yes. Now, I thought maybe Michael Bloomberg might know of it. Yes. Did you have a, a top secret underground location where you kept a large amount of oil? <laughs> Did anybody try to go underneath the Atlantic Ocean or underneath Iraq? Yes. Kind of siphoning off some of that oil from different uh, Middle Eastern <laughs> nations. <laughs> now, for every employee of Homeland Security, yes, that has that top secret clearance of the last 17 years, yeah, <laughs> that works underground so as to have that underground city available during that uh, cataclysmic event of the United States. <laughs> Could I get your cell phone number? Pooch. See, I got to thinking about how do you broadcast cell phone signal underneath the ground? Yes. It's kind of like on top of the water. Yeah. It might be some sort of sonar. Yes. But if you were in a deep underground military bunker, mm -hmm. you're under there, you're doing your homeland security thing. Yes. You're waiting for the apocalyptic event to take place. <laughs> and you get a call from your wife. She's like, I want you to bring home some bread and some milk in the various necessities of the essential. <laughs> you always take your cell phone with you. Mm -hmm. Now, is there a special cell phone service that Homeland Security has that the rest of us don't have any knowledge? <laughs>